Hello kids, how's it going? If you are making the balsa bridge on CAD, uh, this video is for you. Uh, hopefully it's going well. Uh, I'll start with a couple things. I want to get right to it so this video is not so long. Uh, you got your sides of your bridge. Uh, make sure here is the, this is color, okay? Uh, this right here is material. And a material, make sure you go down to wood birch. All right. Um, as you make a side, um, well, then you have your connectors in the middle. Again, same thing. Make sure you got wood birch for that. That's going to be very important. And <clears throat> as you're making these, uh, definitely you got to be under 0 0.05 pounds of mass. So feel free to go to File, High Properties, and uh, go, click on Physical. And uh, so one side of the bridge is 0 0.013. I'm going to have two of those, plus I'm going to have four connectors. Um, mine, so that's 0 0.26 uh, plus four connectors. I'm, I'm about 0 0.04, so I'm about 0 0.01 under. So I could have gone heavier in mine. Um, but uh, just, uh, just, just do some rough calculations, back of the animal calculations, because it's going to be really hard to. If you know how many connectors you're going to have, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, and you know the weight of this, then you could just do some quick math to be like, ah, this needs to be lighter before you assemble it. Because you will assemble it, you'll put an assembly, and even before I assemble it, I can go to the I properties and click on physical again. You click on update, and mine's 0 0.04 with everything I'm going to put in there. So I'm 0 0.01 under. So uh, before you put in the assembly, you don't want to like be like, get to assembly, like, oh man, it's too heavy, and I have to go back. So as you're doing this, make sure that it's kind of under 0 0.05. All right. Uh, so uh, once you got that made, uh, you have to make an assembly. Okay, now what you're going to note is that you made these bigger than the holes. The holes are smaller because this is going to, this is size of that, but it's going to cut out 0 0.02 on each side. And this is going to cut out 0 0.02 on each side. So, so you're going to see that it's not really going to assemble properly, but you can still do it. So, uh, you know, do your constraints. Um, here, I'll start with one right here. I'm going to, let's say, flush this side to the this side right here. I'm going to put this one right here. So I'm going to flush that to that. Okay, apply. And uh, I'm going to mate the top. So I'm going to mate the top. You got to mate all the same sides on this. I'm going to mate the top to the bottom of this. All right. Mate. Hear that little clicking sound. Okay, apply. And uh, then it should be, it should move in that direction. And let's just mate a side. So let's mate that side, that side to the other side. You see that it sticks down a little bit, right? Because it's going to cut out a little more. Uh, so uh, that's okay. Uh, let's mate this side to that side, apply. And uh, it should be fully constrained there. So you can't move it anywhere, right? Um, so uh, do the whole thing, all right? Uh, assemble the whole thing, inspect it, right? So here, this one is a little bit lower, okay? Because it's gonna cut out. It should be, I mean, I think it makes sense because if it was in the middle, if I was able to constrain the middle, I think it would be evenly around all sides, but I didn't constrain it in the middle. I constrained it in the top on that one. So there's gonna be some flexibility when you put it together, for sure. All right. Get the whole assembly done because once you cut these, if these are not in the right spot, you're going to be in trouble. So I want to see a full assembly. It shouldn't take you that long to assemble it. All right. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to open a drawing file. Okay. So a new drawing file. And we're going to go to the standard one. All right. This part's important. So follow this one carefully. Uh, open a standard drawing file and you got to delete the border, right click delete border and right click delete the, um, the little title block right there. And uh, we are going to go to sketch and we are going to make the sizes of the pieces of wood they're going to use. So you basically have a 24 by, and let's go ahead and put three, it's 3.75, but let's go ahead and put 3. Um, 3.65. We'll go 0.1 under. Okay. All right. You got one right there, and you're going to make another one uh, right underneath it. So 
because you're probably going to 24 by 3.65. You're probably going to need to use two pieces uh, just today off the bat. All right, finish the sketch, and uh, you're going to place your pieces in there. So we'll go to place view and uh, base, and uh, we don't want the assembly. We want the sides of the bridge. Now here's the thing. You need it to cut to actual scale. So this is important. Make sure it's one-to-one. -one. Okay. And uh, we're going to drag this and place it and zoom in here. And you don't want to be right on the edge. You want to be about an eighth of an inch off. Just, just, just gauge it about an eighth of an inch off. So right there, maximum. Okay. These edges, you don't want to get close to these edges because otherwise a laser is going to shoot off the, and it's it's gonna it's gonna you know damage the laser. So, uh, but in the middle, you can put things as close as you want. All right. Press OK, and you're going to need two of these. So again, it's going to go to the assembly. Let's go to sides of the bridge. And uh, you'll see again, it's half size, go full size. And here, rotate it, you know, do whatever you got to do to make it fit. Um, and again, here you can go as close as you want to this guy. We just don't want to get close to those lines. Okay, so you can put it right there. That is cool. All right, boom, put it right there. And, uh, you know, if you could fit a... Um, if you could fit a connector piece right there, that's great. If not, you're going to have to go to your second piece right here. And again, put the base in there. Let's go one-to-one. -one. Connector. And put it in there. Okay, if you didn't quite put it in the spot that you wanted to, you can always click on the red things and get a little closer. Again, you don't want to get close to this line, but you can get really close to there. All right, I'll pause the video real quick while I do all of that, okay? Okay, got all of them on there. Again, you can fit them as close as possible. Don't get close to these lines on top because this is not actually a size of a piece of wood, so uh, leave some space at the top, and um, we're going to get these as close as possible in the middle. Save some space. You may want to cut another one, okay, later on, so. Um, so this is perfectly allowable. All right. Okay, great. And, uh, so you got that done. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, um, save it. Okay. Save as and put, uh, your name, Rodrigo, uh, bridge. Okay. Make sure you save it to your folder. It's got all your other stuff on there, so um, so save it to your folder. Make sure it's got your name on there. Very important. All right, and yep, yes to all. Okay, we're going to save all the dependents and stuff like that. Now, uh, what you're going to do, uh, follow this part carefully. You have to, We have to export it to Corel Draw. It prints on Corel Draw. We need to get this right here. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, right here, go to File, Export, PDF, and again, call it Rodrigo Bridge, first name Bridge. I already got one named, so I'll just go over, replace it, sure. And then uh, what you want to do is uh, open Corel Draw. Okay, and then skip this stuff. I don't know why that comes up all the time. Uh, and you want to do File, New. And here's this is important. So you can want a 32 by 18. That's the bed size of the laser. It's 32 wide by 18. Okay, so press OK. Okay, there. And then you're going to go to File, Import, and go to that Rodrigo Bridge PDF, the PDF version, not the not the other one. Import and import curves. And you are going to zoom in to the corner as much as possible. And you don't want to be right on the corner. You want to be a little bit off. Okay. We don't want to be right on the corner. Uh, again, this is going to, this is where it's going to laser cut. We don't want this cutting too close to the edge of the laser. All right. Um, okay. And the next thing you are going to do is uh, you are going to click on these. You should be able to click on the squares, just the squares, right click. 
and we are going to delete. We don't want to cut that. You're going to click on the square here, right click, delete. And then we're going to go highlight the whole thing. You should be in this one right here. Highlight the whole thing. And uh, we're going to go to a hairline on object properties. If object properties is not, if this is not here, you can go to object and properties right there or alt enter. Uh, again, highlight the whole thing. And the cutting color is red and uh, it's RGB and pure red is 255. So type 255 and enter. All right. Everything is going to be red right there. All right. So that's pretty much ready to go. Uh, the last thing you're going to do is uh, let's go to the little tap text icon. And uh, right here, we're going to let's go in. A, let's say I'm cutting out this square. Um, go ahead and put your initials right there. Um, RC, or you can even, yeah, RC is fine. Your initials, uh, or just your first name. Because I may not, I don't know the initials, so let's just do first name. And then uh, just press enter and go back to the clicker thing right here. And that is good. Okay. So uh, that is set to go right there. And uh, last thing you're going to do is you're going to save it. And you need to get a thumb drive for this. All right. So grab a thumb drive in the front. Okay. Put it in your computer. And um, USB drive D. Okay. Uh, just save it in there. And again, put your name. Bridge, save. All right. You will just bring that up to me, bring a thumb drive up to me, and I'll have it set by the printer and I will print it out. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed this awesome award, Academy Award winning documentary. Bye bye.